Before I get into anything, I am not a financial advisor. This isn't any financial advice. This is just how I track my finances with Notion. So first things first, let's create a goal. Let's say that I have no savings whatsoever for my business and I actually want to start stacking up some cash for my savings account. Get savings account to $50,000. Bank account, let's connect the savings and emergency account right here. And then the goal is $50,000. Now we can see the goal right here and let's get to how the actual system works. So let's go ahead and go to the income section. So let's say that we just got paid by one of the clients. So let's say client payment, Elon Musk. Let's say that they paid us $10,000. Category is services. And let's direct deposit this to the operations and utilities account. And let's have this be a recurring uh, payment. So. If we go up here, we can see that in the bank accounts inside of the operations and utilities account, we have the $10,000 uh, that we got. We just got paid by our client. So let's say that we spent some money on uh, Facebook ads, $2,000. Let's add the category right here, which is advertising, recurring, one time pay from card. Let's add our Amex Platinum right here. Pay from account, operations and utilities. And if we go up here, we can see that our advertising account has already spent $2,000 this week, this month, and this year. If we change the day of this payment, let's say that we paid this uh, last week, then we will see that advertising this week went back to $0, but this month and this year is still at $2,000 because we are still indeed in this month and this year, but the payment was made last week. So let's undo that real quick. Now let's go up here to our credit card. And as you can see, our statement balance is $2,000 and our credit utilization is 20%. So this actually tracks your credit utilization. And this is so powerful because you know exactly how much money you've been spending on your cards and if you are in good standing with the credit bureau. So your credit utilization is extremely important. Now, if we take a look at the bank account, now it says $8,000. And if you remember, Elon Musk just paid us $10,000. And the reason why this says $8,000 is because the card actually took the payment from the account associated to that card, just like your credit card actually does. So, so now we are left off with $8,000 and we have a goal to reach $50,000 worth of savings. So let's create a transfer. Transfer number one, amount $5,000, transfer from, Let's use our operations and utilities account because that's the account that we want to transfer money from. Again, you can transfer money from whichever account, but for the sake of this example, we're gonna use the operations and utilities account. So we're gonna select that one, transfer to our savings and emergency account. And if you go back here, you can see that the balance is now $5,000. And if you look at the goals, you are 10% of the way to your target, which is $50,000. If you're not at all serious about scaling your business, then this system is probably not going to be a good fit for you. On the other hand, if you are serious, I'll leave a link to it down in the description so you can add it to your workspace.